Hello there, and welcome to this lesson on the basics of the swing. We are going to show you what you need to know to get started as quickly as possible, so let's not waste any more time. To begin your swing, pull back on the right stick. When your golfer reaches the top of their backswing, push the stick forward to swing. Great work out there. That was fantastic. Let's keep moving. Feedback on how accurate your shot was will be displayed in the bottom right corner after each shot. Leaving the edges of that colored cone means that you have swung way off line. So let's give this swing thing another go and try to stay within that cone. Nicely done. Let's move on. You will also receive feedback on your swing tempo just underneath your swing accuracy indicator. Now, if you are too swift or too sluggish on your backswing or follow through, your shot could lose power, it could get some wonky spin, or it could go further off target. Now let's try swinging with a smooth motion to achieve the perfect tempo. Well, that was no problem. Let's keep going. Okay, well, I think that's the minimum uh, amount of stuff you need to get started. If you'd like more challenge or distance from your shots, try changing your clubs in the profile menu. And be sure to test out your equipment first on the driving range. And if you're looking for more advanced shot techniques, go ahead and check out the other lessons that are available in our training menu. Okay, see you next time. Welcome to the putting lesson. We are going to learn the ins and outs of putting here today so you can gain strokes where it matters most. You know what they say, drive for show, putt for dough, folks. Let's go. Now, to begin your putt, pull back on the right stick. The farther you pull back, the stronger your putt will be. When you feel you've got the power right, push the stick forward to putt. Now, let's try sinking this 10-footer. Hmm, that uh, should probably be tried again. Well, that didn't quite pan out. Let's uh, give that another go. Very well done. Let us move on. Now, getting your putt strength just right comes down to feel at the end of the day, and each green can feel different. You can keep an eye on your putter's max distance in the top right to get an idea of what the current green speed is. This putt is just a few inches downhill, so use your left stick to move the putting marker just in front of the hole, and then ease up on your putt and let gravity do the work for you. Nicely done. Next. Those moving dots on the grid are telling us that your putt is going to break to the right, so you're going to have to aim to the left to compensate. Use the left stick to adjust your aim before putting so that you can drop this one in the hole. All right, that didn't pan out. Let's give it another go. Nice work out there. Let's move on. All right, and I think now you're ready to tear things up on the green. And by tear things up, I mean be very respectful and do not damage the property. Seriously, though, every green can be really different to play on. Be sure you get some putting practice in on any unfamiliar courses, especially before a big event. And if you need a refresher on swing basics or more advanced shot techniques, check the other lessons available in the training menu. That's it for now, folks. See you next time. Hello and welcome to this lesson where we will talk about clubs and shot types. I am going to show you how to make the most of what's in your golf bag with a few simple tricks. Let's go. Okay, so for this shot, you're hitting into the wind. This means you are going to have to club up or in other words, use a longer club. So let's press the change club button until you get to the pitching wedge. Then just pop this shot onto the green. Oops. 
well done. Let's move on. Now, it's only a matter of time before you find yourself in a situation where the normal shot type is just not going to do. Now, to get on the green from here, you are going to need a chip shot. So let's press the change shot type button until you get to the chip shot and then chip that ball nice and close to the pin with your next stroke. And let's just go ahead and try that again, okay? And nailed that one, let's keep going. Information about the current lie of your ball is available always in the top right corner of the screen. This will give you a range of how much spin and power your shot will retain, and then you can use that info to adjust your shot accordingly. Now for this particular situation, you're gonna wanna great stuff out there. Let's, let's move on. Now with these few tricks under your belt, you can really take your game up a notch out there on the course. If you'd like to experiment with some different kinds of clubs, you can go over and change your equipment in the profile menu. Make sure to take the new clubs out for a rip on the driving range before you hit the course. And if you're looking for a refresher on the basics, hello there and welcome to the lesson on advanced shots. In this lesson, we're gonna learn about techniques you're gonna wanna master if you want to compete with the pros. Let's begin. Sometimes you'll need to make a partial swing to dial in your distance just the way you need it. In this case, your chip shot's gonna go about twice as far as the cup. Try cutting your power in half. Very well done, let's keep going. Manually adjusting the loft of your shots is gonna help you get that ball closer to your target. The catch here is that changing your loft also increases the difficulty of your shot. Hold the shot shaper button and press the left stick up to increase your loft. Land this shot near the cup. Your increased loft is gonna give that shot a little backspin going to keep that ball from rolling off the green. Nicely done, and we're moving on. Applying a fade or a draw to your shot can really open up some stroke-saving shortcuts. And you guessed it, this will also increase the difficulty of your shot. Now hold down the shot shaper button and press the left stick to the left to put some fade on your shot. Then swing away and land this one on the left side of the driving range. Nicely done, let's move on. With lots of practice, these advanced techniques are gonna to prove to be invaluable parts of your game. And if you'd like these newly discovered advanced techniques to give you even more workability, try changing your clubs in the profile menu and then test them back out here on the driving range. And lastly, if you need a refresher on the basics or some more info on stuff like putting, check out the other lessons available in the training menu. And with that, I say goodbye.